In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Fe2S plus HBr. This is iron 3 sulfide plus hydrobromic acid. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. These are the coefficients for the molecular equation. Next, we write the state for each substance. So sulfides in general are insoluble unless they're bonded to elements in group one like sodium or potassium. Hydrogen bromide, hydrobromic acid here, that will be soluble in water, but it won't dissociate into its ions. It's a weak acid. Same for H2S. It'll dissolve in water, but it's a weak acid. That means it's a weak electrolyte. Then iron three bromide, bromide's very soluble, so we put AQ. That'll split apart into its ions. So next we split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's gonna give us the complete ionic equation. That's gonna look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note, we didn't split the solid apart here. We didn't split the weak electrolyte, the weak acid, the HBr, or this H2S, which is a weak acid as well. And then this FeBr3, we did split that apart into the two iron three ions, and then those six bromide ions. Two times three, that'll give us six of these bromide ions. Now we can cross spectator ions out, except there aren't any. All the substances in the reactants and the products, they're different. So this is also the net ionic equation for Fe2S3 plus 6HBr. So things to watch out. If you have this solid, that's not going to be split up. And these weak electrolytes, these weak acids, we don't split those apart either when we do our net ionic equations. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for iron 3 sulfide plus hydrobromic acid. Thanks for watching.